Hi everyone. So today I've just received my iMac 5K, uh, 27 inch 5K. Really excited to open it up. Here it is, big brown box. UPS delivered today. Interestingly enough, it was shipped from China. This is following the UPS tracking. It was shipped from China to Korea, to Kazakhstan, to Germany, then to England. It took five days to get here. Uh, so, So, uh, as you can see, it's got the Yosemite um, box there. Doesn't actually say 5K anywhere on the box, funny enough. Um, so, it probably says it in the spec sticker. If I can find the spec sticker, here we go on the side. Yeah, so, so it says 27 inch. Um, I've gone for 8 gig RAM because obviously I'm going to be upgrading it. I've uh, got Fusion Drive, 3 terabyte, and I've upgraded the graphics. Uh, it's the 295 and let's get it open. It's got a nice tear sticker here so I can just tear it from here. I was going to knife it but I'm going to tear it. There we go, nice tear. And I'm just going to swing it that way. And it's, I'm hoping that it's not going to turn into one of those videos where you just like someone's taken out the box and it's fallen on the floor and smashed it. Uh, let's hope not. And the great thing about these boxes is it just slides down, like, as you can see. Top, we've got the keyboard and mouse. Um, you do get the option for a trackpad. I prefer the mouse. However, I should have ordered the trackpad because I was going to use it for my Apple Mac Mini um, that I use under my telly. So I'm using the mouse, uh, the mouse. Uh, I'm using my iPhone at the moment, and it's a bit of a pain. I also opted on this one to get the Apple Care, three year Apple Care, and that's for good reason. I'll tell you about that in a minute. It's got, it's got a good story about that. Um, effectively, my own 15 inch MacBook de developed a fault. It's two and a half years old, and I had the three year Apple Care. And the Apple shop locally here said that they couldn't repair it. They, they've replaced the logic board a few times, they've replaced other parts, but they never really got to the bottom of what the issue was. So they replaced it with a new Retina version. And um, I was lucky enough to pick that up the other day as well, so I've still got it here boxed. We weren't changing the subject too much. So there it is, all sealed still, because I haven't had a chance to open it yet. But they actually, Replaced it with a. Um, they replaced it with the 15-inch Retina i7 with a 512 um, with the 512 storage because I had a 500-gig hard drive, which was the standard at the time. So I was quite amazed at that because it was worth two thousand pounds. Get rid of the box. Okay, so we're going to be upgrading the RAM, and we've got a little door around the back here, so I'm going to be putting that in. Yeah, so we've got a brand new laptop, um, new three-year warranty, and, um, you know, this laptop, like I say, was still two years old. So, I've never been into one of these before, so I'm looking at the back door, and I'm thinking, how do I get into that? Okay, so opening the back panel for the iMac. Uh, this is the older generation iMac before the 5K. Well, when I say older generation, current generation, non 5K and the 5Ks. Only the 27 inch can be upgradable, user upgradable. The 21 inch cannot be upgradable. Um, there is a little trapdoor on the back, and you will notice just um, above. You can just see it there, just above the power socket here, there's a button, okay? So you can just press that button, uh, and it can be a little bit tough, so what I'm going 
doing is I'm laying it flat and, it, and just put a screwdriver in because you're going to do your fingers in house. So just put, put a screwdriver in and push down and then you should get cut the one. Okay. Um, I've got you, 16 gig of RAM to go in and that's the cheapest option to buy a third party. There's nothing stopping you. You don't have to get the Apple RAM. It doesn't invalidate the warranty. It's there for a reason. Uh, so I'm going to upgrade it to 20 gig of RAM. No, 24 gig of RAM. Because you get 8 gig of RAM and then I'm at updating an extra 16. That's 24. Same 20 because I recently upgraded someone to 20. They had four. So. Just bending those pins back. In it goes. And the whole cradle is really quite nice. It's real quality feel to it. Very easy to install. Very, very easy. Now, I've opted to go for the crucial memory. Uh, it's guaranteed to work with, um, with the Apple Mac. I'm not sure about the warranty. I think it comes with a lifetime warranty, so I don't think you'll have any issues with the, with the RAM at all. And that's in. And when you put this back on, this little, little plate here, when you put it back on, you've really got to push down hard. Um, just keep your Mac on a flat surface when you do it because you don't want to put pressure at an even flat surface because you don't want to put uneven pressure onto the screen, of course. So. And there, nice brown push, and we're done. Ready to be switched on for the first time. So I'm just going to grab the power cable, which is hidden away. Side here. Being in the UK, we've got the three prong UK power cable. I'm just going to plug that in now. And that's in. Pop that in the back. Read it out. Yeah, it goes. And then, standard thing. Nice firm push on. Because I say that, I've kept my finger on it for a minute, for a, for a couple of seconds there. Sometimes you need to do it for about three seconds first time. There you go. And there we go, it's on. And that uh, tends to be with all new maps. So this is going to be with me for a while now. Last one has been with me for three years nearly, so it's now going home. And there we go. The unboxing, the iMac 5K. I really can't see that much difference at this stage, but um, I'm sure, you know, I'm going to be delighted with it without a doubt. Thanks for watching, share and uh, like if you can, dislike if you don't want to like it. Thank you.